Welcome to a special presentation by Mandiant's Threat Intelligence Center. The series of videos shows a live APT-1 Chinese threat actor conducting computer network espionage activities. We will see him take a variety of actions affecting real victims. All identities have been anonymized to protect the innocent. This video shows the APT-1 actor Dota creating an operational email account. He is using a US IP address to sign up for the account. Notice that he initially leaves his country location as the default United States. However, Google then asks Dota for a verification phone number, and Dota changes his country location to China. He then inputs the phone number 159-2193-7729, where the 2193 indicates a number that China Mobile allocated to Shanghai. Dota immediately provides a verification code, showing that he had the phone with him at the time. Here we see Dota logging into one of his operational email accounts. He has used this account for spear phishing and generating additional email accounts. The inbox shows confirmation emails for additional accounts that Dota created, as well as bounces and non-delivery receipts for spear phishing messages, most of which seem to be focused on military exercises in the Philippines. Notice that Gmail generates a suspicious login warning, informing Dota that the IP address 58.247.245.236 which is part of one of APT-1's home ranges, was used to log into the account. Dota now moves to his sent mailbox, which shows that he has sent emails, probably test messages, to someone with the name MyChang82. We believe this is the super hard persona. Here is an APT-1 actor installing a ghost rat command and control server on a hotpoint and testing it to make sure it works. He installed the ghost rat backdoor on his own system in Shanghai. We can see that the system, with hostname HP Trojan Tools and with Shanghai IP address 58.247.238.57, check into the Ghost Rat server. Note that many backdoor C2 servers allow attackers to interact with victim systems using a graphical user interface. Ghost Rat is an example of this. The APT1 actor checks to make sure he can interact with the Ghost Rat backdoor on his test system by listing the drives on that system and starting a command shell. He then uninstalls the backdoor on his test system. Here an APT1 actor uses a WebC2 head command and control server. In contrast to the GhostRat interface, which was graphical, this one is command line driven. The APT1 actor uses the L command to listen for incoming victim backdoor connections and two victim systems check in. From here, the APT-1 actor tries to issue a command to one of the victim backdoors. He has some difficulty. We have not included the next hour of video in which he struggles and fails to interact with the victim backdoors. Here we see an APT-1 actor running HTRAN. This tool enables communication between a victim IP address and the actor's Shanghai IP address. Now an APT-1 actor is verifying that stolen credentials will work on a Microsoft Exchange email server. He logs in successfully with a stolen username and password and then lists the contents of the victim's mailbox. The scrolling numbers are the numbered messages followed by the size of each message. Here we see an APT-1 actor establishing an FTP session with 58.247.26.20 an IP address in one of the APT-1 home Shanghai ranges. APT-1 actors often transfer their tools from their Shanghai systems to their hop infrastructure using FTP. The APT-1 actor is going to the FTP server to retrieve the Lightbolt tool, which is named exploie.exe. During this session, he lists other files that are hosted on the FTP server, which include tools, including what are probably HTRAN and GetMail, and attachments for spear phishing, for example, salaryadministrationpolicy.zip and socialsecurityreform.pdf. Now the APT1 actor uses Lightbolt to steal files. The Lightbolt tool has an embedded stolen certificate that allows APT1 to access web pages not available on the web. Here the APT1 actor uploads a RAR archive to his Shanghai system using FTP. The Lightbolt tool saves stolen web files to a RAR archive. <laughs> 